Why does Japan experience so many devastating earthquakes? And how do the Japanese ensure that almost no one dies in these natural disasters? I'm not exaggerating. Just compare the two 7.5 to 7.6 magnitude earthquakes of the past year. Turkey, Syria region in the month of February 2023 and Japan on 1st of January 2024. The 7.5 magnitude earthquake on January 1st that rattled Ishikawa Prefecture on the main island of Honshu triggered tsunami waves more than a meter high, sparked a major fire and tore apart roads. But the deaths are limited to under 100 till now. The regional government announced on Wednesday that 62 people had been confirmed dead and more than 300 injured, 20 of them seriously. The toll was expected to climb as rescuers battled aftershocks and poor weather conditions to comb through rubble. But still, the low number of deaths is encouraging. This may be an indicator of low total toll. Now compare it to Turkey earthquake. Almost 55,000 people died in it. Same magnitude of quake, but a vast difference in magnitude of deaths. The powerful earthquake in Japan was one of more than 400 to shake the region through Wednesday morning. Japan experiences hundreds of earthquakes every year and a vast majority caused no damage at all. The number of earthquakes in the Noto Peninsula region has been steadily increasing since 2018, according to the Japanese government report that was released last year. The country is haunted by a massive 9.0 magnitude undersea quake off the northeastern Japan in 2011, which triggered a tsunami that left around 18,500 people dead or missing. It also swamped the Fukushima atomic plant, causing one of the world's worst nuclear disasters. Let's look at some of the earthquakes in Japan. As we mentioned, on March 11th in 2011, a 9.0 magnitude earthquake and a tsunami struck the northeastern Japan, killing nearly 20,000 people and causing a meltdown in Fukushima, leading to the world's worst nuclear disaster since Chernobyl. The other one, on April 16, 2016, a 7.3 magnitude earthquake struck in Kumamoto on the southern island of Japan, killing more than 220 people. On June 18, 2018, a magnitude 6.1 earthquake in Osaka, Japan's second biggest metropolis, killed only four people, injured hundreds and halted factory lines in an industrial area. On September 6, 2018, a 6.7 magnitude earthquake paralyzed Japan's northern island of Hokkaido, killing at least seven people, triggering landslides and knocking out power to its 5.3 million residents. On February 13, 2021, a 7.3 magnitude earthquake hit off the coast of Fukushima and eastern Japan, injuring dozens of people and triggering widespread power outages. On March 16, 2022, a magnitude 7.3 earthquake jolted the coast of Fukushima again, leaving two dead and 94 injured, and reviving memories of the quake and tsunami that crippled the same region just over a decade earlier. So how is it that Japan experiences so many earthquakes? The answer lies in its geographical location. Japan is nestled right along the edge of the Ring of Fire, a horseshoe-shaped belt of intense volcanic and seismic activity that encircles the Pacific Ocean. This fiery band is responsible for shaping Japan's dramatic landscapes, from towering mountains to geothermal hot springs, and also for its frequent earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Here's why Japan's location in the Ring of Fire is so significant. Firstly, because of the prehistoric tectonic dance of the plates. The Ring of Fire is formed by the collision of several tectonic plates. Imagine Earth's surface as a giant puzzle. These plates, massive slabs of rock, are constantly moving and grinding past each other. In the Ring of Fire, some plates are being subducted, meaning that they are pushed beneath others and melt into the Earth's mantle. This molten rock rises back up as magma, feeding volcanoes and creating geothermal activity. Japan sits right where four major plates meet, the Eurasian, Pacific, 
Philippine and North American. This complex interaction creates a lot of friction and instability, leading to frequent earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Secondly, Japan boasts over a hundred volcanoes, with Mount Fuji as the iconic symbol of the nation. This abundance is no coincidence. The subduction zones around Japan provide a constant source of magma, fueling these fiery giants. Volcanic activity in Japan isn't just awe-inspiring. It also shapes the land, creates the fertile soil, and provides geothermal energy. However, it also poses risks with eruptions sometimes causing ashfall, landslides, and tsunamis. Earthquakes are another frequent visitor in Japan, as we told you. The grinding and subduction of tectonic plates release tremendous amounts of energy, triggering tremors that can range from barely noticeable to devastating. Now let's try and focus on why the deaths are minimum, despite such chaotic geography and risks. Japan has learned to live with and mitigate earthquake risks, developing advanced earthquake-resistant buildings and robust early warning systems. People have adapted to living with seismic and volcanic activity, developing traditional architecture and emergency preparedness measures. The Japanese building code takes into consideration various factors such as the type of soil, the depth of the building's foundation and the height of the building. It also requires buildings to have a flexible structure that can move with the ground during an earthquake, as well as a damping system to absorb the shock of the earthquake. One of the key features of Japanese buildings is the use of seismic isolation bearings. These bearings allow the building to move horizontally during an earthquake, reducing the stress on the structure and minimizing the damage. Additionally, many buildings in Japan have a reinforced concrete frame, which provides added stability and protection against collapse. Buildings are equipped with early warning systems that can detect earthquakes and automatically shut off gas and electricity to prevent any subsequent fires. Many buildings also have automatic fire extinguishing systems and emergency lighting to ensure the safety of the occupants during an earthquake. Japan also has a very strict building code and inspection system that ensures that buildings are built to withstand earthquakes and other natural disasters. In addition, all buildings in Japan are required to undergo regular safety inspections every 10 years to ensure that they remain earthquake resistant and safe for occupancy. Apart from building safe structures, schools in Japan regularly practice earthquake drills, thus teaching them the safety measures at an early age. Children attending school are taught how to find cover and remain safe in the event of an earthquake. The Japan Meteorological Agency or the JMA provides residents in Japan with earthquake early warnings. This system issues prompt alerts just as an earthquake starts providing valuable seconds for people to protect themselves before strong tremors arrive. Earthquake Early Warning Service also integrates with a number of media outlets such as TV and radio for a wider dissemination. All this ensures that Japan may be suffering an earthquake, but it doesn't suffer human life loss. Do tell us what you think about this video in the comment section. And for more news updates, subscribe to India Today.